38 drummers will battle it out at Homestead. Julie may be on the talk, but she is all talk. I'm ready for this. James Corden, he can suck my <laughs> He's going in for the inside of Angel Gutierrez to the inside. Come on! Speed up! Drake. Useless! They'll show total dedication. What are you doing, young man? He hits! Ooh, the leader hits. Failure is not an option. What in the is that? You got mad! Tensions reach their boiling point. What are you? An idiot sandwich. Idiot sandwich what? An idiot sandwich. Idiot sandwich what? An idiot sandwich. Idiot sandwich what? An idiot sandwich. They will do anything to win. Squawk like a pigeon. I don't think pigeons do squawk, chef. Squawk like a pigeon. I do not miss the biggest. Get out. That is. Get out. Most anticipated television event of the year. Get the. It's my show. All my uh, fellow Filipinos, now this is my side. Listen, look, and listen, and learn. <laughs> After last week's weekend at Darlington and I'm flirting with a girl in the nightclub last week. Oh sorry, I'm just kidding, but here you go. Well, I after we see uh, Jaden Russell winning the race at Darlington last week, we are coming back here at Florida for another racing here at Homestead Miami Speedway. In Bahala. Oh no 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 no. But I sure my best again. But anyway, this is the uh, this is the Body Armor 400 here at Homestead Miami Speedway. Hello again, this is Herjal Armin Alonso for the 37 Network, and we brought you just another exciting racing. But anyway, here we go. So let's discuss everything under the table. But here we go. Well, after last week, after last week's fiasco, we do have some plenty of changes here in the uh, field 38 cars still but there are some interesting changes so we just see Jackson Kelsey being suspended for one race after the char charter claim or unauthorized charter claim as well I don't know the exact term and then Jonathan Harrison for, ini for initiating a fight he is suspended for three races looks like we're showering suspensions right now Anyway, but, and then we do have a new driver by the name of two drivers actually making a debut here. We do have Michael Sheeran from Republic of Ireland and then Philip Torres again. So let's go to the field, shall we? And but we let's go look at the point standing, shall we? Drivers, Andy stop your engines! Is your points leader Ludovic Charat, Bradley Ream, Avery Alford, Jade Russell? Your top five. As we see the field rolling up, up to their feet, I guess. But here you go. Sorry for the lag, by the way, last week at Darlington. But I'm trying my best to, to bring you quality. Anyway, on the pole here is Matthew Hubert. Alongside of him is Neil Johnson the second. Road two sees the number 43 and Tom Slower. Alongside of him is Bradley Green. Road three sees number 71 of Brandon Bill and then the 68 of Benny Moore row 4 we do have the number uh, 99 of Sam Adoskin and then Abex Sokolov in the number 8 
and then the number 52 of Jaden Russell and then the number 75 of Juan Barca. The rest of your starting, starting lineup is rolling in your screen right now. So uh, here we go. And now this is going to be exciting but again 54 laps of racing we do all know that as well. Let's see if we're going to be able to see some exciting. Let's see. 1.5 mile oval. Here we go. Pace car is in. Dale Johnson second and Van Huber brings us to the green flag here at Homestead Miami Speedway for the running of the Spider. and he hit the wall giving away the race to the is West in Darlington, I don't know. But I I think this guy is tend to hit the wall, but that's just probably happening a few times I guess. And, uh, still trying to go past the inside. Let's go here, we can have an awesome area. There you go. So far, I've been able to see every single lap here at Homestead, but Bradley Ream is right there, and uh, as well as... Uh, Anyway, we do have number 88 of Dale Chanson the second still being still trying to catch up many more I think the wall or sure. So far we break and don't have any uh, incidents just yet. For sure, we do have. We will have. A pop, we will have a stop soon. So maybe. Oh my God! Looks like Dale Johnson the second hit the wall. Trying to make a move to the out to the outside of Matthew Hubert and he just hit the wall. But he did second place. Bradley Reed might go to the inside. No, so Bradley Reed falls back for a little bit. I think I know that bit after this. It's Brandon Bill is right there. Benny Moore tries to move but he hits the wall. He's trying to make a move. So if you're here in the inside and you try to do your way to the outside, the wall eventually. Yeah. I. Yeah. Ava Zahler is now running fifth. It's just his second race, and it's just re it's just a replacement driver for Jackson Nelson. I believe that Ava will be happy about this one. You know. We will go back into the lead later on, but so far we have and then Matthew Hubert. Again, backstory, Matthew Hubert trying to get the redemption he deserved 
after leaving the wall to the very far of the uh, dog and the Albert on the side. He has the momentum the outside lane. Maybe not a little had a bad start right there. Right. Bad restart right here. Then Pulling, pulling away with the win, but eventually he did. But I think Matt Hubert really had the uh, what he really has what he did. Oh my God! I thought there's a contact between Bradley Green and Robert as well. Well, Bradley Green is right there. He's currently running fifth. Tom slow on here. Fifth. Yeah. One of Arca is seven. Point. Gabriel Alford is eight. Fell back quickly, but he still managed to finish running up the race. Benjamin Jr. the number nine. He's trying. He's trying again. And look at that, the number eight of eight of Sakura. And looks like we have a lot of good stuff. Challenge number seven. How's it feel? A little bit. But here's the number 20 of Alan Jefferson. I don't know what happened in him. I believe it's an unscheduled stop or what. I'm not really sure what happened with the number 20 of Alan Jefferson. for Japan Racing Enterprises. Ever since... Even though he's just driving for a ride, well, he did it. And then he had a good Johnson. There you go. Outside the top 10. He's currently 11th right now. With there he goes. Uh, 94 of uh, Al Sharp. Someone blew up. Oh no, the race leader blew up. Matthew Yobert just blew up the race. What an insanity. Leading every single lap, and then his race is over. What a top break for the number four. We expected him to win, and meanwhile, here it is. His race is over. Bill Johnson the second. Following him is Brandon Bill and Brad. I thought he's going to have a redemption after that. He lost the race. I'm sure he's going to lose his one Literally, from first to first, to win for the second time in the season and trying to go 2 for 2 at the at Florida. 
But you're really defensive. What? what? Stop going to the wall. So far, talking to you. Bradley Ring goes for second. They're side by side, Brandon Bill, Bradley Ring side by side. But Brandon Bill has the advantage in the outside lane. Here you go. If he hits the wall, it might be Bradley Ring. But so far it's going to be Brandon Bill. Chevy's 1-2 right now. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Little the picture rat right there in the back. Right there. It's currently running. Ball for Hubert. But yeah, I need to make a point. So, Betty off the right right now. Meanwhile, Bill Johnson the second right there. But this one is. I thought this was going to be like, I don't know, boring or what, but it's very to happen when there's a There we go. Actually, I did not notice that the fire robin had an ignition problem. I think it blew up as well. I'm not really sure we haven't got that footage, I don't know. Side by side footage of what happened to the fire robber. He's still focused on the number eight. He's still on the You know, there's not much of a way to do Ever since he blew up, and looks like he's trying to nerf to the inside. No, he hit the wall. And I think these guys are top eight just pulled away. So So we Oh, I thought there was a cause just because I saw something yellow blink, so anyway. Ooh, Bradley Reed trying to nerf to the inside of the wall. Many more to the inside of Bradley Reed, but I think, yeah. Many more. But I think Bradley Reed will hold on to the outside, despite hitting the wall. Wrong timing, I guess, for the number 71 of Bradley the wall, I don't know. He's trying to nerf again to the outside. But no, he'll have the 88 of Dale Johnson the second he'll have to have the advantage. 71 trying to switch lanes here. So Maybe I would expect Bradley to be able to do this. Ooh. They'll jump in second. It would seem disappointing we can be for... After the 
about Mr. Pietro and his way. But I think Bradley Green would be able to catch up into Dale Johnson the second, but let's see if he's able to do it. Here we go. Benny more to the inside, to the outside of Benny is losing some time now. And look at that. So, Apex Sokolov still in the same pen. Second place, Tom Sloan, and one of our We're right in the past halfway through, and I thought we might be able to catch up with Alan Robertson, but no, exactly. Yeah, it's just a lot. Anyway, still, so far, Dale Johnson the second holding on the lead. And I think the pit stop has just started. Dale Johnson the second. No hit. Avery Alford, Trey Bartow. Dale Johnson all start. I believe that would be the only stop for... Uh, yeah, this would be the only stop we have. So yeah, pit stop cycle has begun. Let's see. Philip Torres right there. He's ahead of Roberto Brown Jr., his teammate. Trey Barto. Will Trey Barto? No. Trey Barto will be the captain. And looks like Dale Johnson the second. Ooh. Avery Alford wins the race back. Out of this row. Dale Dale Dale. Dale Dale Johnson the second. Literally second to Trey Marcho. Let's see if other guys already went to the pits. There you go. I think the rest of the field already in. Wanda Barca, I think Bradley Ree might win this race up pit road. And he did. At this rate, it might be Avery Alford winning this race. Will he be able to catch him to Bradley Ree? I think he will. He just passed Bradley Ree. Dale Johnson is second still right there. Trey Barker is right on fourth. Dragon Racing Enterprise is three and four, but Trey Barker to the inside of the team. Trey Barker takes third. Yeah. Right in fifth. Wanda Barker sixth. Tall Sharp seven. Robert the Front is Right, Roger Fulgerman right there. They just take off and get out of the pit road. I think he might end up just going up to the top 10 maybe. Let's see if the cycle's already ended. But so far so good. Wait, what happened to the number 8 of Abex Sokolov? There you go, Avery. No! What did he just win? Alan Jefferson just win. So I guess I would say that was an unscheduled stop. Or, I don't know. Is that a pit strategy or what? Hit the wall, I guess. 
It's going to be side by side between Avery Alford and Avery Alford leads to the left. That's a lead and right here for third is going to be Trey Barta to the inside of Dale Johnson, the second right Yeah, I didn't notice. Yeah, Alan Jefferson actually had a super stop earlier in the race. And then I think it's low. He is very slow. He is low. I don't know what happened. Marta takes third. No, second at I believe Alan Jefferson is actually slow because he has older tires than this guy does. on Alan Jefferson. But I'm sure it's going to fall back to 20s, I don't know. Since he's really, literally, really slow. And I think he's holding on, he's holding all shot. Tom Slovan and... They're holding this guy, I don't know. I guess I can say that that is strategy went wrong for Alan Jefferson. But I'm sure something happened to play as to a special pit stop. But there you go. I didn't expect that it's going to be the last. But here we go, I guess the battle right now is going to be Ray Barto and Bradley Reed. And looks like Gillick Charles to the inside of Dale Johnson the second. But I think Dale Johnson the second has the advantage here. But no. Dale Johnson is going to be traded in for Ford, I guess. Going to be for Hill Tari. But now we have Ooh, looks like Trey Martha is about to close in the gap to Avery Alford. I think Avery Alford is actually uh, yeah, he just finished runner up last week. Oh my god, Trey Martha is inside. Trey Martha is inside I guess. No, looks like Avery Alford is still going to lead the lap. But Trey Barton to the inside of number one of, oh no, of Avery Alford. Earlier is the outside lane of the New leader, car number 55. Trey Barton right now is trying to lead here. And Bradley Ring is right there. The Daytona 5 are winner trying to get to the in Florida races. But here you go. They are still side by side with Checker Frank More Sports, Avery Alford, and then Justin Reagan are trying to Trey Barto. And oh dear, as my classmate just checked me that if if she's already have a daughter or if, if she's already have a child, as a godfather. Oh, I thought we were going to have a terrible lag right there. But I guess that's just uh, uh, It looks like the battle for second here between Bradley Ream and Avery Alford. Avery Alford looks like he's going to lose the second place. If Bradley Green was able to pass, he finish, maybe. It's going to be, I guess it's going to be a one to finish for With Trey Barto winning the race, I don't know. We still have turning to go. There you go. By the way, so... We're going to have a little bit of commercial break here, so we'll be right back 
have to send your messages. What's the biggest thing you've ever made? The biggest thing I've ever made? Probably... Oh, actually, yellow is out. Yellow is out. I think it has to be related. Angel Gutierrez, I think he failed. His engine expired, I guess. I, I think that's what I saw. So, I think the commercial break is a fake news. So, we will have... Ooh. The Alonso percent actually just hit it and then... Did he lost the advantage or what? I think just hit it and then... But right now, we do have... We will have some interesting insight here. But where's the... Where's the pace car? Oh, there's out of position. But here's the pace car. So, according to the PSRLA officials, we will send the lap cars at the back. But I think there's no lap cars. Anyway, there we go. We do have a first caution of the day. So, your top five is... Oh, dear. Alford and, and his teammate as well and that's uh, Philip Torres and then one of our in fifth then we do have Dale Johnson six what happened to bring out the first caution of the day here for the body armor 400 at the So, what happened to Angel Gutierrez here is that, yeah, I realized that was Angel Gutierrez. So, he was coming into the turn one and then here you go. Uh, sorry. I'm not really sure if he just lost power right there in his Able More Sports machine. But, yeah. I think, I don't know, I'm not really sure. I think his tire failed again. Again, remember in the Daytona 500, his tire literally failed. Going like around three laps to go. And then here in Homestead, we do have right there another tile failure for him. But I have no idea why they threw out the caution, but I think it is because he's still technically in the racing surface because the road he I think he blocks the pit lane and and uh, Alan Jefferson is still inside the pit lane so I think that may be why he's right there hanging around but there you go let's go see the replay again in real time I know the piano is still going to have a And then the star failed. And then that's why he has to go back to the idea. commercial break and then there's a caution again this is what happened so we'll be right back here at Homestead after some short messages we'll be right back everybody are more coffee 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 espresso 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 express yourself coffee 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 yeah coffee 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 yeah espresso 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 express yourself wake up 8 a.m. Working at nine, I'm going.
gonna be fine with a coffee by my side Never know what life is gonna bring you every day Opportunities might knock on your doorway Coffee, 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 coffee Espresso, 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 espresso Express yourself Coffee, 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 yeah Coffee, 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 yeah Espresso, espresso, espresso Express yourself Hate my Monday mornings, but I got my coffee Hate my morning classes, but I got my coffee Never criticize, always embrace Don't talk to me till you see a coffee by my waist Coffee We are back here The third race of the PSRLA Cup Series 2023 season as we can see, we do have Trey Barto leading the field right now. So cro crossing the line, we will have eight to go. So here's So Trey Barto currently leading the race here. His teammate Bradley Reed will be on the outside of him. Then the, the te those are teammates and another teammate. They are teammates again. Avery, Avery Alford and then and then Felix Torres. Then we do have one of Marco. They'll turn to the second. Then just another Dragon Racing Enterprises of Eric Monaco and then Chuck Black Morris Sports of Robert Brown Jr. And then Tom Sloan and then Nathan Stapleton. So eight of this eight of the top ten cars are actually from Jack and Grace Enterprises, Six cars in, we will have eight to go as we cross the line. Trey Barto, Bradley Green, the teammate, wins on the second year in the homestead. And Bradley Green has the advantage right there. But currently has the advantage in the outside right now, so Bradley Green is Predicted with the race lead going to the line. But never, nevertheless, it's going to be a good race for Trey Barto. Outside has the advantage right now. There it goes, seven to go. Three wide right there. Eric Monaco, he might fall back. Three wide here. Eric Monaco. Juana Barca, Avery Alford. Let's go back to the lead. It might be really interesting if Trey Barton is going to be of Bradley Ream. But I'm sure early in the season, Bradley Ream might want to. Oh, Bill Torres hits the wall. Here you go. Three wide everywhere, and then the teammates are just okay. Five to go, I think. No, six to go, actually. And Bradley Ream and uh, Trey Barco are now pull pulling away. So, who will win this race? I think it's between two of these guys. I thought this race going to be boring, but chaotic. <laughs> oh my god, here we go. Five laps to go. Five laps to go here at Homestead Manor Speedway. Eric Monaco trying to make it one, two, three minutes for second race. Avery Alford is going to be one, two, three for them. Okay, there. Just hold that. And now, Trey Bar to the inside of West. Side by side to the line. Here we go. Four laps to go here at Gomstead Miami Speedway. With Trey Barto still waiting for momentum to pass Bradley Reed. Here you go. But Trey Barto is going for a little bit. I don't know if he's waiting for a momentum to actually win and nerf that one. Is it going to? And now, 
One, two, three. And here we go, three to go here at Homestead. Bradley Ream is pulling away. He's going to take his second win of the season. Trey Barto right there. So right there, he's hanging on. But Bradley Ream wants to take the second win of the season. Bradley Barto is down there. And third. There it goes. Two to go here at Homestead. They're hanging on. Hold off, Reggie Falkman, just to make it a one to three finish for Jackie Racing Enterprises. He's still hanging on. Reggie Falkman for second. There, but here we go. Final lap right now in the air for Bradley Ream and Dragon Racing Enterprises. I believe this race is going for Bradley Ream unless something happens. Uh, like 0.75 miles to go. Two more turns. Here we go. I think Richard Pokemon might nerf this one. It's coming in speed. Here we go. Out of three and four will Bradley Ream. One, not enough for Roger Pokemon. It's going to Bradley Ream. Bradley Ream is the second win of the season here for the 2023 PSRLA Cup Series season. And Roger Pokemon. Roger Pokemon. Out of nowhere, I've never mentioned him all race, all day long, and here he is, runner-up. Oh dear. But kudos to the entire... Kudos to the entire... Dragon Racing Air Prize for a stellar performance. But this race goes to Bradley Reed. We all know that. So, so here's your finishing results here for the Homestead Miami Speedway Body Armor 400. So we do have Bradley Ream taking the second win of the season, Raja Falgaman, Trey Barto, Eric Monaco, and Pilik Torres. Your top five stellar debut for Pilik Torres. Then Tanner Parton on 6, that is out of nowhere. Wanda Barca, Avery Alford, Dale Johnson the 2nd, and Roberto Brown Jr. Your top 10. And then Nathan Stapleton just hanging around here in 11. Tom Stone and Jonah Burridge from Death Rat 13. Good job for him. Then we do have Jason Lona, Kitty and Jimenez, Paul Sharp, Brandon Bill. Brandon Bill, top luck for him. Literally. Roger Gustava, Gary Carolay, and Kevin Dawson. And here's the rest of the results here with only two retirees from the race Matthew Hubert for that. He blew his engine, Bob Egypt for him. He blew it while leading the race, and then Josiah Robinson, as you saw, that's what happened to him. Well, anyway, that was really interesting racing. I thought it's going to be like. It's going for Matthew Hubert, it's going to Trey Barto, it's going to, uh, who knows? Every Alford, I think it's going to Dale Johnson the second, and then Bradley Ream out of nowhere, and then Roger Fogelman out of nowhere. But, oh my god. But anyway. Yeah, but again, literally interesting race over here, with, oh my god, I, like, I think, out of nowhere, this would happen that I think probably your biggest mover here is I don't know I'm not really sure but here we go like oh my god hold on but yeah so Dale chanted the second led the most laps it's like oh dear and then 
Roberto Crown Jr. actually had 26 places improved. And then Matthew Hubert, like, what in the world? Then I would say, there you go. From 1st to 37th, real quick. But anyway, here's the point standings after the race in Homestead. Bradley Reams solidified his points lead here with 98 points towards the championship. And then, 14 points behind is second, Avery Alford. Matthew Hubert, where is he? He fell back to 11th. After just earning just one point, actually he earns three points since he won the pole. And then, two points per pole, one points for the race finish. One of Arca, third, Eric Monaco, literally, he nerves himself into fourth. And then fifth, we do have Nathan Stapleton. He just nerved himself right there. Nathan Stapleton, 24 points behind. Roberto Brown Jr. And then, yeah, Roberto Brown Jr., Tyre Party, Tom Sloan, Philip Jimenez, and then Kyle Sharp. Your top 10 there, they're currently. These are your. So yeah, there we go. And then well, as for the wild cards, we do have Jaden Russell, your 11th seed, and then Matthew Hubert, your 12th seed, since uh, Jaden Russell won the race, and then Matthew Hubert hanging on in 11th. Then there you go. So I guess that's what happened in the race right now. So thank you guys very much for watching. Huge congratulations to Bradley Ream, your day to no, not day to your, your Body Armor 400 at Homestead winner. This is his second race, second win of the season in just three races. So, here we go. Again, this is it. So, next race will be the Allegiant 400 at Las Vegas. More Speedway, let's see if you can still do it. But, here you go. Again, thank you guys very much for watching the special coverage of the 37 Network for the PSR LA Cup Series. This is Hurtle Brain Alonso here again. Let's go Sonic Boom! Congratulations to Bradley Reed.